Hello and welcome everyone, my name is the Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing the final mission of Surya Varman I, titled Nirvana Pada. There actually is a, an achievement uh, associated with this mission. It's called the Relic Hoarder, and basically we need to capture all the relics on the map. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> with the maritime rivals of the Empire crushed, Surya Varman set his sights on the mainland. As the war with the Tambralinga Srivijaya alliance had progressed, it had not escaped his attention that rivals closer to home had been plotting and wishing for his ruin. The rulers of the various Burmese and Cham kingdoms slunk around in the shadows like disgraced cowards. Instead of recognizing the superiority of their larger neighbor, they deviously plotted its downfall and encouraged rebellion within it. This behavior was unacceptable. Surya Varman's enemies may have been too intimidated to face the Kumai Juggernaut head on, but Surya Varman had no reservations about challenging his neighbors. It was high time that the Empire saw further expansion. The Mekong and Chao Phraya rivers snaked through rich, fertile lands held by decadent, unstable kingdoms ripe for conquest. Triumph would add yet another achievement to Surya Varman's legendary military record. Okay. Our main objectives are to either defeat three of your five enemies, Harapunch Harifunchai, I think, Lavo Kingdom, Northern Cham, Southern Cham, uh, and Khmer Rebels, or to construct and defend a wonder. Our secondary objectives are for, well, it's not really an objective, the Srivijaya will periodically pay you installments of tribute. And of course, we have the achievement objective, which is to collect all the relics on the map. I don't know how many relics there are. Uh, I just know that there's probably going to be a lot of them, so we'll see. Our hints tell us that Surya Varman the First's army can support a population of 200. It is monsoon season in Southeast Asia. The turbulent conditions make it impossible to launch and maintain hulking siege ships. Although the majority of the combat in this scenario will be land-based, control of the water can be used to deadly effect, and most of the map will soon become a battleground. The southern portion, however, is a relatively safe area to build your economy. Mineral resources are somewhat scarce. Fortunately, you can rely on the recently defeated Srivijaya for supplementary tributes. Very nice. Your scouts report that Surya Varman I in Siam controls the heart of the Kamai Empire, based primarily in the center of the map. Though initially in a powerful position, adversity will come swiftly in the form of invaders and rebels alike. The Harifunchai, in red, hold two citadels to the northwest and field an army composed almost entirely of light horsemen. The Lavo Kingdom, in blue, is based in a mountain fortress in the far west of the map. Their forces consist of infantry, skirmishers, and monks. Interesting. So the fact that they produce monks suggests that they'll probably have some relics for us to capture. The northern Cham in green control the coastal town of Indrapura to the northeast. Rattan archers, battle elephants, and halberdiers comprise their land forces, but they will also build a small navy. So green builds a navy. The southern Cham in purple are based in a set of bastions on the eastern coastline. Their army of light infantry and crossbowmen is complemented by a large navy. So purple produces a large navy. The Khmer rebels in orange have seized two military bases guarding important river crossings north of the Khmer Empire. Their military consists primarily of swordsmen, ballistae, and ele elephants. Elements. And lastly here, the Diviate in yellow hold a fortress to the far north, watching the conflict to the south with much interest. Perhaps their army of cavalry and javelineers can be persuaded to attack some of Surya Varman's enemies. Okay, so we might want to consider getting to them at some point. Oh, nice! So that's the introduction done. I am going to cut and we'll be right back. Okay, let's get this show on the road. 
bountiful land surround us. Yeah. Right for the taking. <laughs> we shall build an <laughs> empire to last a thousand years. <laughs> Nice. So it looks like we got quite a lot to work with here. There's one relic. There's another relic. We got two more relics here. Just want to get a castle up here if possible. Our southern area is undefended so far. There's a relic here. Let's grab that. Drop it back here. That looks like Chom fairly close by actually. Let's keep villager production going. Ooh, there's a monk going there. And another relic out here that we can grab. Let's intercept this monk. Some villager production coming out. Let's pick up conscription. Grab crop rotation here. Um, we'll pick up some fire ships. What happened to our monk? I thought we were sending a monk out. Let's actually wall this section off here. Send these villagers to gold. A Sridi giant delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Gold is good. Let's pick up Bracer. It looks like we lost that relic, so we're going to need to recover it somehow at some point. I'm not super worried about that outside force just yet. Let's pick up chemistry. Fast fire ship should keep us tidied over on the water for now. Let's 
pick up some elite skirms. Grab ring archer armor. There's a monk here. We can kill him with our light cow. Do we get hand cannon here? Let's pick up architecture. Drop-off point for the Kamai here is going to do a straight good here. Economy here. Kill off these two guys. I thought we had another dock. Where's our second dock? Over here. Need some fire ships. We're getting pounded on the water here. Let's pick up Arbalest. and repair this villager. Pick up hoardings. This castle might actually go down. It will go down. Let's see my own carelessness. Start spamming out light cavalry. Chom here. Pick up portings. 
there's so much going on. Thankfully, the southern part of our base seems to be relatively safe. Let's build some more military production buildings here. Keep training our bless. Did I turn farm receipt on? I'm gonna do that so that I don't get busted for my micro later. Let's pick a pusser. And our cavalry armor upgrades. Our fires. There's not going to be any cannon galleons, so having this castle in the water will be really good for us. I actually think that... Yeah, I am gated off here, that's hilarious. Let's build our military buildings on this side, so we can start staging for the attack on the west. Villagers working. Pick, pick up siege engineers. Keep training units on this side. Stone, so we can keep building uh, castles and defense here. Plus our upgrade is online. Let's pick up the last uh, military upgrade that we've got here. Wonderful. Spill some more fires. Well, I'm actually at my pop cap. That's good. That's actually great news. That means we are making wonderful progress. This does mean is that our military units are a little bit spread. I want to make a concerted effort. I think I'll try to kill off Chom just to get the navy, the naval enemies out of the way. Uh, I doubt this is their only base, but if we can take out their docks, that'd be really good for us. Come down here. 
have them build some additional stables out here at the front. We need to keep in the back of my, our minds here that we're looking for all the relics. Get our elephants back. Trains treads as well. And their treads are honestly probably some of the most annoying forces that we can face right now. Because most of our forces are archer based. What is this? What is going on here? Did you guys see that? That was wild. Always good for us. We're still at the pop cap here. Careful. Repair this castle. I'll reassign these villagers to repair this castle. Need some some beefier guys than just elephants, I think, or than just hussars. Let's transition it to elephants. Elephants and archers. <laughs> this must be where the, the base comes from, where the blues come from. Did I just... Wow, I just lost like 650 stone for no reason. I don't know why I did that. That blows. Let's 
get more battle allies out. Grab some skirmishers as well. We can pick up Imperial Skirmisher here, actually. Let's get some skirms out. I don't know what kind of graphical error is going on here, boys. But I'm not liking it. Still have plenty of resources here. I would like more treads. We can honestly send these treads over this direction. Let's get some more elephants out. Gotta say, hitting the pop cap is nice. Let's build some frontline stables here. And hammering away at them. Ooh, there's a relic there. We need to grab that. Let's see if we can sneak that away. Skirmisher research is coming out. That sound that they make is just so annoying. It's so, so loud and obnoxious. If you pay us 1,000 gold, we will be able to pursue this. 1,000 gold, huh? You boys got it. Our enemies are mustering as we speak. Looks like they got some red guys helping them in the top, top left here. We're making good progress. Giant delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Sneaky red trebuchet in the back in the forest. There's a monastery. I presume that monastery contains some relics that we'll need. Nothing useful left to research here. Perfect. We'll grab Parthian in case we want to transition at all. But having yellow on our side should be very helpful now. Let's 
Okay, good to know that these guys count as military units. Online here. Go for this stone. And at the front, we're actually not in any any danger now, really. Got some unused military here. Seriously not out yet? Well, that's two relics. Do you have any more? We got any more monks actually? It'd be nice to have some more monks to carry these relics around. We do have an extra monk here. Prioritize securing the relic. There's, there's one all the way over here? Are you kidding me? Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Let's grab a transport. Let's have you build some docks here at the front. Four docks at the front. The 3B giant delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Thanks as always for the tribute. I think the Cham are, or not the Cham. I think the Lava Kingdom are on their last legs here. Let's take this opportunity to keep scouting around. Any other relics on the map? There's a trebuchet. Really? You have broken our armies, Sir Yabaman. Lavao is yours to command. I don't want to lose that castle. Come on, trade some units. Take care of this. So one thing we need to make sure we don't accidentally do is win the mission uh, before we capture all the relics. So let's see, we got two monks here. Not make the same mistake that we just did earlier. Red tribes are annoying, but not insurmountable here. Let's regroup back at the center. 
Are there any more relics to be had? I still haven't unlocked the achievement, so... Well, there's definitely this one. The Vietnamese are helping us. Oh, look at how much resource we have. Can we sneak the transport? That's the big question. That's so much idle armor here. Too much idle army. We don't have to defeat uh, all of them just yet. But what we should try to do is we should try to cripple them a little bit. Still capped at our pop, so we're still doing okay. Still have lots of high quality units. Stem the red tide, we can just destroy a few of the production buildings. too significant to us here. Our transport never made it! God damn it. We are going to have to do something about that. Kind of tragic if you ask me.
need monks. That's so tragic that the relic landed back there. Gather points. Put the monk in the transport. Big hectic battles like this, the most important thing is to like actually manage to consolidate your military together. Because if they're all spread together, spread around like this, then I don't be doing really anything, anything useful. has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Tribute's good. That's a dock down from the charm as well. I really hope we don't have too many more relics to go for. How many do we have? We have the ones in here. So we got three here. And five there. Nine relics? Like, I really hope this is the last one. Stone, grab the gold, become a farmer. All's good in the world. Got <laughs> so much resources to burn. One of our gather points is still set to the wrong place. Our achievement will proc if this is the last relic. I hope it's the last relic. Let's just watch it real quick. Pay close attention to the bottom right corner here. No achievement. Oh no! I did just. Never mind. If you heard that notification sound, you just did get the achievement. So now we actually have full license to go ahead and just crush the enemy here. 
And uh, since I'm already here, I might as well start with red. And might as well suicide these boats because I don't really care about them anymore. Camp, that's a mining camp. Okay, so that's useful to know. There's there's nine total relics to be looking for here. Sloppy by me leaving these treads out to dry. Viet aren't really doing much now. I guess they're distracting green for us. now as well. You guys move to the front, build some siege workshops. Red's numbers are thinning out as well. This is very good news for us. Relocate those lumberjacks to a slightly safer location. Keep 
our work queues going. And the Hari Panchai Panchai are actually almost finished here. Shot here. Target here then will be the Kamai Rebels. Let's go ahead and take them out. Not much else to say here. Uh, I do really like this level though. I had a, had a blast. Lots of enemies to fight, lots of colors moving around. Um, resources are basically never a problem. Rewards good micro. Uh, and hunting those relics is a nice little side objective. Kind of surprised that the rebels haven't thrown in the towel yet. Not sure what they're waiting for. Pretty sure we got them. just unlocked an achievement as well the king of just laws for finishing the campaign let's go ahead and see what that's all about hegemony is a wonderful thing the power and prestige of the Khmer empire reached new levels under suryavarman the first and all prospered despite being known as a great conqueror Surya Varman was not simply a militaristic aggressor. His reign was marked by vast improvements in the general infrastructure of the Empire, and an emphasis on religious toleration. 
He erected numerous palaces and temple complexes and ruled benevolently. His legacy lives through these structures, the pride of our citizens and the strength of the Kamai Empire. This legacy is a cause worth defending. It is this notion of greatness that you must invoke to electrify the minds of the common soldiery. All right, cool. So the overall story was nice, pretty simple. Uh, a captain kind of teaching his subordinates how they can inspire their own subordinates by telling them the history of the empire that they are defending. Uh, pretty simple, but it does the job and it does it very well. Um, I really like this campaign overall. Um, I think, you know, uh, the last level in particular is actually super fun. Um, relatively simple it's more like a you know bunch of factions constantly streaming different kinds of units at you but i think it's really cool the way that each faction did feel pretty different um and chasing down the relics as a mini game um during this level was super fun as well uh the relic placement was neat uh having one in the far east meant that you couldn't completely ignore naval control uh it was a great touch to not have sea chips on the water uh, because that meant that you know we could defend our coastline without needing to be worried about getting all of our and all of our base destroyed um, from the water, so we could defend it, but not necessarily defend it as a high priority. Um, booming is rewarded, you know, using you know the big elephants, using uh, arbalests, using trebuchets, all the big fun toys uh, are all very very rewarded, and we're also fighting things like rattan archers, arambai. You know, trebuchets, rams, halberdiers, monks, champions, two-handed swordsmen, um, fire ships, demo ships. We're, we're fighting a lot of everything here, um, and I really, really get a kick out of it. Uh, there's always something useful to be doing, and the landscape for this level is very beautiful. Um, so my, just a little, a few, a few other comments at the end about uh, the remaining levels. The first two are pretty basic. Uh, but they do the job. Uh, they're cool. The 100 population um, kind of mirror matchup uh, and then the Quelling the Rebellion, I believe, is a similar matchup except you get 200, um, 200 population. Uh, a dangerous mission is actually very easy. Um, I recommend picking the Ballista Elephant for that one because uh, it lets you skip a fight. Um, but even then, it's still quite easy. You can just bait with your Envoy. Your Envoy is a major MVP in that mission. And uh, challenging a uh, philosophy, um, pretty fun. You're never really in danger of losing your base. Um, the most likely way that you lose is that if you don't do anything about the navy and you let your Chola allies get defeated. Uh, but your Chola allies are not helpless. I, I like having allies that aren't helpless. Um, it was pretty clear that if I didn't try to take the navy, that they're going to go down eventually. Uh, but that being said, they weren't complete pushovers. For example, uh, there, there's there's some maps where like your only ally is a village with a market or something like that, um, or your ally is meant to die. Even for example, uh, what was that Hun mission? The uh, no, not the Hun mission. Quetzalcoatl, the Aztec Montezuma mission, where there's an achievement to defend them, but story wise, they were meant to get themselves destroyed. Um, Having an ally that like actually does something meaningful uh, and still is somewhat story relevant, I think was, was a really nice touch. Um, so overall, I, I rate Surya of Armor in the first. I rate this uh, set of levels pretty highly. I think it's quite fun. Um, not like, nothing super, you know, non-formulaic, but the maps are well designed. The game, the gameplay flow works well. Um, and it, it all feels just very nice and natural to play. So thank you for creating this one. Uh, anyhow, next time, I believe I will... I'm not sure which one I'll continue with, but until then, my name's been The Clever Fool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.